Hi everyone, this is uh, Joe Rebello for Rebello's Camp of Karate and the Nindoru Fudoshin Kobukai. And in this case, we're going to go over one of the many arts under the Nindoru banner. That's not an art that uh, you see a lot that I, I do an occasional YouTube video, and that is Nindoru Jiu Jitsu. Now, Nindoru Jiu Jitsu, the symbol of which is um, Pow, a five petaled flower with a series of ten. Stamen or stamen, as again, I want to make sure I get that that, that flower term correct, uh, which represents ten basic attacks, five basic techniques. We have two hands, five, ten, two feet, fifteen, twenty. So twenty basic fundamental techniques. Now, what we're going to show you today is one of our basic fundamental lock flow drills. That first one, as a matter of fact, that gives you insight into five five petal flower techniques. Assisting me, Dozo. come on in, will be uh, John Malore, and uh, we're going to go over five basic fundamental techniques that are taught in Nindoru Jiu Jitsu. We're going to start off with the basic fundamental attack, Kote Dori, a wrist grab. So in this case, John Rick, is going to execute a front right me Migi Kote Dori, a wrist grab. And I'm going to, my first technique will be Kote Mawashi, the inside wrist flex. I bring my hand up, bring it across, grab it with my other hand, step back on a diagonal angle to achieve the first technique. I'm then going to take my thumb and do Koko, the tiger's mouth, and shoot it and grab the thumb as I shoot directly in, grabbing the bicep, throwing an uppercut, and creating the gooseneck, which we call in Japanese, Kamakubi. Kamakubi. Now, from here, I'm going to do a double step. I'm going to do a Tenkan action. I'm going to take my hand underneath, shoot in, grab with one hand, and then circle around to grab with the other to achieve Kote Gaish, or wrist, outside wrist flex. From here, my opponent has a free hand. He might attack me with a punch or a grab. I might parry that off and grab it, or just shoot straight in and come around for an inside arm bar, which we call Gyaku Ude Katame. As I hook him here, I would never knee him in the face. I would joke around. It's that wonderful 70s song, I need you like the flower. I, I, can, I can do at in a temi at any point. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take his hand, grab him on the top, the back of his hand, folding him into a hammerlock. And the Japanese term for hammerlock is, we don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. I want you to contact me and tell me what your particular system of jujitsu uses for the term hammerlock. So anyway, so I bring him down in this position. At this point, I can now walk the dog. Pretty cool, huh? So this particular lock flow drill teaches us five fundamental techniques that are taught through the auspices of Nindoru Jiu-Jitsu. And then at this particular grade, just before the rank of uh, uh, going for blue belt, they learn how to make these various techniques and put them together in a lock flow sequence. Now, just to do for fun, does the left side, and again, whoops, I missed it. What will I do? What will I do? I don't know. Maybe I'll pull back out to here again. Sure I will. That looks good. And I'll step back on my diagonal angle, and I'll have my inside wrist flex, Kote Mawashi. Shoot the thumb in, grab the bicep. Here's my uppercut. Take my hand underneath, and right foot, right hand, circle grab. Grab with the other hand. Outside wrist flex, hey, there's an arm. I think I'll take it for Christmas. I fold, I lock. Could I compound it with a wrist flex and nine million other horrible, terrible things I could do with this? Could I crank his fingers and break them and do nine million despicable things? You bet, but I'll just walk the dog. Hi, John. Hello. <laughs> so that's the key. Again, in the air, outside wrist flex or inside this flex. Gooseneck. Kote Gaish. Inside arm bar. Hemlock. And there you have it. New idea to play with, some new toys to play with. As a Kempo practitioner, where do I put my Kempo? Anywhere I want to. That's the beauty of it. But again, it's the nature of what? The gentle art. So we are being gentle for our opponent. The gentle part is, I didn't punch him, I didn't kick him. Could I break a limb? Could I break a wrist? Could I break an arm? You betcha! But, 
we're still being gentle. Until next time, thank you very much for your time. And this is Joe Rebello for Nindoru Jiu Jitsu and the Nindoru Fudoshin Kobukai at Rebello's Camp of Karate. Look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah.